Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you know, a lot of times we kind of pull titles from song lyrics, um, and this, you know, trying to think of something a little bit more bold, something that kind of sums up kind of our 26 years together, and eight seemed to make sense. Um, so it just kind of sums up where we're at musically, where we are, we're at uh, record-wise, and it just... Um, it definitely just made sense and it felt right. Um, it was a little bit different in that Mike and Brandon spent more time together uh, writing just simple ideas, lyrics and some melodies and some simple structure, chord structures. And once they sort of had a very, like, uh, a solid foundation of where they were happy then they sort of brought it to the rest of us and we sort of just built on top of that um, so I think there was more time spent doing that um, the initial coming up with the, the, the songs so that was a little bit different but um, it just took longer than normal too because we've written so many records and so many songs that we're always trying to push and challenge ourselves so it just gets harder and harder with each record That's, that's kind of tough. Um, I really like Undefeated. I kind of feel like that sums up me as a person and us as a band. You know, we're still here doing what we love to do. And we've had many, you know, just personally, many things that can bring somebody down, just like anybody can experience in their life. And trying to work their way through it and find their, the light in their life is just, you know, Undefeated sort of sums that up for me. Uh, Skrillex just was in the studio, he's friends with Mike, and he was just listening down to some of the songs that we wrote, and he was kind of inspired about um, a song in particular, and wanted to just sort of play with it on his computer there, so he literally went away for an hour and came back and rearranged it just a little bit, and just made it sound better, and so, you know, we were super excited inspired that maybe he would do the whole record so we were very lucky to get him since he's a busy guy to do the whole record and it sort of just um, it was the it was the icing on the cake for sure there's too many there's a lot of them from the first time playing our first club in LA to selling out that club to playing in front of thousands of people on our first national tour to selling out arenas I mean there's just Coming to the Philippines for the first time and playing in front of 20,000 people, it's like, there's, there's a lot of them. There's definitely a lot of them. No, that song kind of happened right there and then. We were just messing around in the studio and Brandon just started goofing around. Um, and it was pretty much a spur of the moment, written right there, no thought put into it, and we put it on the record. You know, I, I'm not... I kind of listen to my whole catalog on random. Uh, whatever I draw or ride my bike or listen to music, it's always just on shuffle. Um, I like hearing a variety of things all the time. So, um, any everything. I mean, I, I mean, my catalog is so extensive. It's kind of everything, and, and everything from when I was a kid listening to now is still as good as it was then, and still inspiring today. Hello, this is Jose from the band Incubus, and I am a monster. Yeah.